Welcome to the season of Advent and the return of Notes on the Bench with the Christmas Carol, Good Christian Friends Rejoice. What a beautiful and just much beloved carol. One thing that I adore about Christmas carols is the history, the centuries and centuries that people in the sacred and secular world have been singing mostly the same tunes and texts, uniting us across the generations at this time every year. The text of this carol, In Dulci Jubilo, which means In Sweet Rejoicing, can be traced back to 1510 with the Cantio, or songbook, containing four stanzas of 10 lines. The original language was West Middle German, but it went back and forth between lines in German and lines in Latin. This form of verse found in Indulci Jubilo, using the two languages, often with what are for us amusing rhymes between the words in different languages, is known as macaronic. Indulci Jubilo, let us our homage show. Our heart's joy reclineth in presepio, and like a bright star shineth matrice in gremio, alpha s et o. The origins of this form of verse in a religious context can be found no later than the lifetime of the German Dominican monk and mystic writer Heinrich Suso, 1295 to 1366, who said that he heard this cantio sung by angels to him in a dream. In 1328, he described how one night he had this vision in which he joined angels dancing and singing this carol. Here's a short excerpt from the Suso. At another time, on the same Christmas festival, after he had spent many hours in contemplating the joys of angels, and daybreak was at hand, there came to him a youth who bore himself as though he were a heavenly musician sent to him by God. Suso then talks about the angels dancing. This dance was not a kind like those which are danced in the world, but it was a heavenly movement, swelling up and falling back again into the wild abyss of God's hiddenness. Although the details recorded here are more visionary, they nevertheless vividly reflect the dance connection of medieval carols, especially with their responsorial style. For many centuries, Indulci Jubilo was extremely popular in Northern Europe as a dance carol. Whether it originated that way is debatable, but certainly in the 14th century, it was strongly associated with dancing. The tune was formerly sung on the processions that took place in Germany on Christmas Eve. As for this familiar German folk melody, the three oldest transcripts, which include in Dolce Jubilo, have the notes in equal value, not in the rhythmic manner we see. And looking at these pitches, we can see the same melodic shape as the beginning of a popular song of a much later time. Do, 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 oh, when the saints go marching in, which perhaps serves to nonetheless underline the folk song origins and the accessibility of this tune in Dolce Jubilo. This was widely sung in Germany, and it reached its best known eight-line form in the version written by Martin Luther, which he included in the Wittenberg Hymnal of 1533. From 1540 on, many versions of this have appeared in English, with the best choral example being by the 19th century English composer Robert Pearsall. We hope you will join us here at Tower Hill for Advent, and on Sunday, December 12th at 7.30 p.m. for our Christmas concert, Rejoice, and on Christmas Eve, either at 6.30 p.m. for the festival prelude before the 7 p.m. service, or at 8.30 p.m. for the festival prelude prior to the 9 p.m. worship. The Tower Hill Choir will now sing the final verse of this hymn for you, Christ is indeed born to save.